Alright, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 mini series of Operation Artichoke, where today we are right. We left off in the last episode down here inside of the secret laboratory, where we are, of course, on the hunt for the Institute Exploration Team to figure out why they're here, which, I mean, they heard it grab the data. That's, of course, why they're here. But I am intrigued to see what all more info we do get from the terminals about the experiment and what the team encounters once they have come down here. As I mean, we have already started to hallucinate things. So I'm intrigued to see if they're going to be talking about that on the computer terminals too. And all in all, I'm very intrigued just to see how this is going to go. I didn't expect it to be quite so... um. Trippy <laughs> with the hallucinations, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to it. Now, of course, we also do need to keep an eye out for the hidden cache of those drugs that did go missing, which, ha ah, boy, I'm probably going to walk right by the darn thing at some point. I know it, but oh well, we'll see. Now, before we get going on reading what's on that terminal and hopefully opening up that door, I was, I, I don't know why, but I was just very, very amused by this giddy up buttercup head, and I kept staring at it off camera for a little while just thinking why why is it here <laughs> i thought at first that maybe it was left over from the uh weird hallucination we had when we first came down here but then i noticed there's a combat knife stabbing it into the monitor <laughs> why is it still a intact monitor though i don't know but oh well let's go to the computer here and uh read the entries that were on this and open that door all right so last intramail exchange and we got a couple all right so from mr johnson to dr white Okay, basic composition of the Lysergid compound we keep seeing. Dear Dr. White, while working on my project regarding a quick deploy method of Lysergid infused smoke. Oh, oh, that's, that's the haze. <laughs> Okay, good times. I was wondering, regarding the basic recipe and in what order the ingredients must be mixed, I know that the solution reagent must be the first to be mixed into the system, but what is the recommended order of the other three ingredients? Oh, we're probably going to need to know this at some point, aren't we? Hmm, worrisome. All right, the reply from that one. All right, dear Mr. Johnson, the basic rule is that reagent D must be introduced into the mixture after the solution's reagent of gauze. This is always the first reagent. I assume that's supposed to be of course. And before the stabilization reagent. But be careful, never add the stabilization reagent directly after or before reagent S. Oh boy, we're going to have to figure that out later, aren't we? Otherwise, the mixture will not be stable. This should clarify all your questions. I wish you success with the project. Alright, and what's the last one? Okay, oh. I've got you under my skin started. Oh, yep. We, oh, no. We got to figure this all out. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you for your quick answer. This answered all my questions. I have set up the mixing and filing systems, and I will mix a prototype on Monday. Oh, God. Okay, so we've got to get all the things. Maybe behind the security door? Open door. All right. So we need on our quest now. Oh, boy. Find the stabilizing reagent, the solution reagent, reagent S, and reagent D, and then add all the add all the reagents to the mixer. Ah, yes, the mixo two thousand thingy. Neat. <laughs> Didn't it say it causes cancer? Ah, boy, we're gonna die. All right, well, what do we got? Oh boy, we have a lot of things in here. It's all aluminum canisters, light. Surgical tray. Hey, Reagent D, Reagent S. Need the stabilizers, and I'm not seeing those. Oh, solution reagent. There's one more. Yeah, the stabilizing reagent. Uh, where? Hello? Stabilizing reagent? Anywhere? Where are you, buddy? Uh-oh. I'm not seeing it. Bone cutters, fuses. Ah, uh, is it somewhere else? Oh, not behind the door. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, 
Huh. Yeah, until we find... I, I mean, I'm assuming it is, in fact, in here, considering the only two waypoints we have are for the mixing machine and in here, but I'm not seeing... Oh, my God, it was this thing. <laughs> I just... Oh, I don't know why my brain didn't click this, but I saw that it looked the same as these, and they just went, oh, clearly they're the same. Yeah, except these are made of aluminum, which I need, so I have tagged, and that one's not highlighting green. Neat. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's go back to the terminal. Oh, Jesus. And we gotta mix this thing properly now. Wait, why are we mixing this? Why are we mixing this? Huh. Hold on. I need to go back to a previous terminal. Oh, God, it's upstairs. Never mind. Never mind. I'm trying to remember the Lysa, the Lysa gate. Was that the the antidote to the thing? Is that why we're trying to grab that right now? I'm forgetting. It was several days ago that I recorded the last episode. All right. Well, let's back to the terminal. To the intramail. Okay. So on this one, he said that uh, I know the solution reagent must be the first to be mixed into the system. Okay. So solution agent first. And then the basic rule is that D must be introduced into the mixture after the solution reagent. So, okay, so solution reagent, reagent D, and before the stabilization reagent. But be careful, never add the stabilization reagent directly after or before reagent S. Wait, what? Before or after S. So we need to do solution S, D? Stabilization? That seems right. So yeah, the solution reagent first. Must be introduced in after. So yeah, solution reagent. And we can't have the stabilization reagent before or after S. So solution S D stabilization. Solution S D stabilization. Okay, how are we going to do this? Uh, add reagent to mixing system. Is it going to then let me choose? Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Do I not actually have to mix? Oh, okay. I thought we, <laughs> I thought we were going to have to do this manually. All right, start the mixing process. Now we have to do it. Okay, okay, so solution SD stabilizing. Solution S D stabilizing. Hey, all right. Okay, cool. Now we got the a recipe for it and lysigate grenades. Okay. Oh, let's take a look at that recipe. I mean, I assume it's going to be the exact same we just thing we just did. But... Down we go to the bottom of the list. A very long list of all my crap. Okay. Ah, so now we can make it at other things. We just need acid, fertilizer, glass, nuclear material, and oil. Always handle your chemicals with care. Mass fusion is not responsible for any incident, injuries, and death caused by wrong handling of any substances listed above. Cool. So we can make more of them. Neat. Uh, all right. Well, we got the grenades. Eh, I'll keep my frag grenades for now. I mean, I assume we'll need these for something. The Lysagid... The Lysagid is the... I'm forgetting from earlier. Is it the cure to the weird thing that they're doing, or is it the cause of the weird thing that they're doing? I'm going to stick with the frag grenades for now. But there we go. We finished one of our missions. Nifty. All right. I've caught you under my skin. Good times. All right. We still got to do that and that. Huh. Don't know where that cash is going to be, but all right. Well, onward ho. All right, so yeah, we got the we got the key for the cache there. Oh, is that another dead synth? Oh yeah, yeah, another robots, other robots. Got it. Well, let's check in here. 
What do we got? Two plasma cartridges. Yeah. Got to make sure to check everything because you never know where the cache might be. Ooh, security key. Well, that'll be useful. Uh, all right, we'll check that in a second. TV dinner trays, fusion cells. Uh, still not fun. Hello, little cop teddy bear. <laughs> Carl typewriter. Okay, weird. All right, to the computer. What do we got on this security station terminal? Incident reports. All right, we got one here. This morning around 8.13 a.m., an explosion could be heard. Oh, no. From inside the chemical lab, the automated fire extinguishing system started working on a small fire that broke out. Luckily, this fire was small enough to get extinguished by the automated system alone. Only one employee suffered minor burns on his hands and lower arms. An incident report a week later could discover the reason for this incident. The employee involved had residual lighter fluid on his lab coat sleeves. Why did he have lighter fluid on him? From trying to, uh, from trying to fill up his flip lighter during the morning hours in the break room before starting work. Okay, this fuel caused a combustion with the highly flammable substances he worked with. Based on that incident, we installed a new set of cleaning showers inside the lab entrance, and its use will be seen as mandatory every time an employee enters or leaves the laboratory. The security personnel has the right to watch over its proper use and to enforce appropriate countermeasures for rule breakers. Okay, I was wondering why those arches were leading into that chemical lab in there. That explains it. That explains it. Okay, next one. Shit, shit, war just broke out! <laughs> Oh, yeah, it is from... Uh, I didn't notice the date. Okay. I contacted the other two security stations. We all heard the noise. Some said parts of the ceiling in the upper floor collapsed. And what is worse, the inmate on the lower level seems to have started a riot. I should suppose... I assume that's supposed to be inmates, plural. Update. The start of the war is now three hours ago. The rest of the personnel from Operation Blossom started to seek refuge on your floor. A cause uh, the, cause the riot got out of hand and C-10 had to be abandoned. We have locked the automated door, and I let myself insure me from the from the chief of security. Okay, yeah, just some of the sentences here. Uh, that there are no keys remaining on the lower levels. We have two keys in here. We will keep safe for now. Update five hours later, and after a long discussion with the rest of the surviving weekend staff, we decided we are not enough men to be able to hold of, off a breakthrough from the inmates. So we will just secure this facility and make sure no one escapes and we will vacate our post and head into Boston in search of our families. From what I heard, the team from C-10 lost not only two men, but also an agent who might have an important security access password on him. Okay, we gotta find that. So we are doomed to hold them back anyways. May God help us and have mercy on our souls. Security guard Matthew Weathers, security station C-11. Okay, so we gotta go find a key, or a password, rather, on someone. Got it. Well, I'll take that. Can't loot that. Oh, was that a... Oh, hello. Door system manual. Thank you, dear customer, for purchasing the newest system in a line of reliable automated door systems. We recommend to always read the manual before use to avoid accidents during use. As a responsible company, something are aware of the risks, and it's gone. Okay, well. Hmm. Guess it didn't work out for them. All right, the security key into the secure laboratory. All right, let's do this. Head down in and see what in the world we've got. So we got to find a password on an agent, and we're still looking for a cache of stolen drugs. Oh, great, radiation. <laughs> I mean, it's barely any, but still. Blowtorch. Oh, they were trying to get out, huh? Okay. Oh, a lot of dead folk. Surprisingly clean painting for all the <laughs> overgrowth. Oh, hi, Mirelurk. What? I guess the Institute team coming in took care of that first. How the hell Mirelurks get in here? <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Again, check everything as per usual just to make sure we're not missing something. All right, and 
get those eggs. Yep. I always gotta shoot that. <laughs> I always gotta shoot that damn monkey. Alright, so some of them are getting stuck on other things. Damn you, Marler Catchlings! Oh, missed him. Oh, I thought I got him. <laughs> I did apparently do a little bit of damage. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. That's an Assaultron. That means we need this. Those Assaultron beam faces. Oh, dear God. Those are the worst. Alright. Hate Jangles the Moon Monkey. Creepy as hell, little thing. <laughs> Oh, great. This radiation is going to be a real pain in the butt, isn't it? Okay, weird little alien toy in there. Suspicious coffee. Huh. What makes it suspicious? Is it still actually in here as an aid item? It is. Huh. Negative one to perception. And... Interesting. Why is it suspicious? <laughs> oh, that's worrisome. Nope. Oh, God. Die, my alert. How dare you be here? Like that. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> that's why I had to turn back around. It's like, wait, why did it say open? Uh, you see a lot of old wet files under a stack of papers. In the last drawer, you find a pen-shaped hole. Hey, the cash. Cool. The suspicious pen you found fits well, and you hear it click. A small compartment opens, and you find almost a dozen medics and a note. Ah, we got it. Ah, sweet. We found the cash. All right, dear Dr. Kleinschmidt added. All right. Uh, there it is. Dear Dr. Kleinschmidt. I know that you have a child with a Chinese-American woman, and you should be aware of the fact that your current position with the DIA requires you to have no contact with potential spies at all otherwise, and... want. <laughs> Weird that they'd give us a second page just with that. Neat. Oh, so that makes me think. Did I ever... Was there a next page on that manual I did? Yeah, there was. <laughs> And waiting as well, a long and even short rest in the doorway of such an automated system may result in mutilation and death to the user. Cool. <laughs> Wait, didn't we have another uh, rip note? Yeah, note for Kleinstead. Did I not? Yeah, no second page on that one. Okay, okay. Just to double check. Yeah, that had a next. There's a small... Oh, yeah, yeah, no. We read through all this one because that's how we found out about the medics. Got it. Okay, cool. Sweet. So the suspicious pen worked. <laughs> I was wondering when that would come into play. I was so worried it would take us so long to find the cash, but it uh, worked out well. Ooh, new arrivals. Stan, here is a list of all the new arrivals as of the 4th of October. Frankly, whoa, 45 years old. Electrician. Anna Wo, 43 years old, a housewife. Uh, Jack Chan, okay, 68 years old, actor. <laughs> no, not Jackie Chan. Pilong Chang, 86 years old, retired lawyer. All right, so these are the prisoners they were testing on, isn't it? Okay, we got desk. What's on the terminal? What do we got? Operation Blossom Framework and Goop. I did the wrong one. Operation Blossom Framework and Goals. The goal is to create a chem based on a Lyser Gid that will break multiple forms of resistance of a human in interrogation scenario, such as lying, diversion, and so on. Okay, so yeah, the Lyser Gid is the, the bad one. Alright, that's what I kind of figured earlier, but again, it had been several days since I recorded last, and I forgot. To compare the effect of Lyser Gid to a normal interrogation, we asked a group of Chinese spies a catalog of questions regarding their mission, provided by our friends and partners at Nuka Cola. Oh, with and without the influence of Lyser Gid based chems and a detriment hmm? if the influence of a lyser gate will produce a true or realistic answer from a suspect the information gained in such interrogation will be classified and checked regarding its value to drive the development of a lyser gate forward all right okay catalog of questions 
My friends at Nuka... Jesus Christ, Nuka Cola, of course it is. Should give an insight into the level of communist corruption of a suspect. Operation Blossom will be used to determine the capability of a lie circuit to lure a true answer out of suspected spies. The catalog contains, but is not limited to, the following questions. Did you ever leak sensitive information to a non-patriotic organization or person? Wow, straightforward. Did you ever have contact with other spies or a communist handler? Are you a member of any labor union or any... Any other anti-American organization? Oh, boy. Did you ever have the urge, not have the urge to praise America during our national anthem or any other patriotic event? Did you ever bought an unbranded cola soft drink? God damn you, Nuka Cola. <laughs> uh, but hold on a moment. I thought Lyster they were testing to, like, screw with troops and stuff. That's why they're testing it on soldiers before, or to see how well they would, you know, not take orders. I guess they were testing it with other things, too, like interrogations. Interesting. Alright. The more you know. What the? <laughs> Cans of dog food and the dude's head in a bowl. Okay, weird. Okay, is that a... Yeah, okay, that's a door we can open there, and a thing we can go here requires key that we don't have got it Turn out. explore oh we're the prison area now that's probably why we heard the assaultron prison being guarded by an assaultron oh hi oh hey how's it going reporting status all functions normal thank you thank you since strider i'm i'm guessing because we are the um we're the head of the institute are they supposed to be angry at us? Are they supposed to be, um... Oh, and they're probably the ones I heard before. Not a... No, more suspicious coffee. Not an Assaultron. It was since that I heard. All right. But yeah, since I'm the head of the Institute, are they not going to attack me? Greetings, ma'am. <laughs> are they supposed to? Is this supposed to be that point in the game where, you know, we have to fight through things? But I mean, I am the head of the Institute, so that doesn't matter. All right, what do we got in this security station terminal? Situation reports. All right. Couldn't load. Compromise. Contact admin and security door. Got it. All right. Let's go. Bard me, Synth. Oh, barricade. I was about to say. Well, let's check that exit door, too. But no, it's barricaded. We're good. Okay. All the rocks on the ground. I just had this brief moment where I went, oh, my God. Are those all mines? Nope. And there was red in there. Hello. Oh, Feral! Sin, help me! There we go. Oh god, actually, I need to kill it. I was I was gonna wait to let the synth take care of it just for the fun of it. But I didn't realize how much radiation we had gone up to. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, let's take uh, there we go, there we go, and a stem. Yeah, lovely. Beautiful. <laughs> Hey, C10, where's that agent's corpse that we can get the, uh, the password off of? I hear movement, but it worries me about where it is. <laughs> uh, okay, tack hammer, nothing there, sledgehammer. A lot of cans. Bottle cat mines, oh yeah, sure, why not? I'll never use it, but I'll take it. A spine. <laughs> Neat. Who's been lighting candles down here? Tibia. Oh, God. Yeah, a lot of things there. All right. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> it just popped out of nowhere. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, that got me good. Oh, wow. My heart. <laughs> All right, let's find... Oh, we got a glowing one down there. That's not great. Eh, I'll get to him in a moment. Databanks. Terminal. Security door control. Closed door. Nope, all right, wrong terminal. That's for this. What about this one? Security door control. Open. What do we got? Oh, interrogation room. That's not a data bank. It's an interrogation room. Lies. Ooh, it's torture room. Okay, never mind. Oh, boy. 
Well, nothing of value in here. Tongs, ooh. Yeah, what the hell, calling it a data bank? <laughs> oh, I got the bathroom here, let's check it out. See if we can find that dead agent. A lot of gas canisters. A lot of paint, jeez. Why do they store all their paint in the bathroom? Weird. All right, well, makeshift battery. Oh, jeez. Hey, glowing one, where you at, buddy? Oh, you got friends. That one's dead. All right, so the prisoners are going to start waking up, aren't they? All the ghoul, now ghoulified prisoners. Oh, yep, yeah, there he is. Okay, he's dead. Got it. Oh, <laughs> That got me too. All right, some good things that are uh, definitely been scaring me a little bit. <laughs> Neat. Oh, hello. Oh, glowing one's back there. That one's dead. Hello, glowing one! How dare you try to foom! Get him. Okay, what do we got here? Letterman's jacket. Oh, number of diaries. Okay. Burnt books. Glad I didn't throw a grenade in here. Jeez, that would have blown all those things away. Old Man Winter. Oh, find the Institute team. Oh, there's the doctor. Oh. Okay, explore the prison cells. Find out why the Institute was here. Well, we're going to be working on it here momentarily. Cell key. Security key. The Iron Mission Hollow tape. All right. You know what? Let's... Let's leave that there for a moment. Let's take a look at Old Man Hell Winter. Yeah. That's 10 points cryo damage and will freeze targets on critical hit. How? It's a freaking cane! <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. And I actually think this is a good place to end because next episode we've got three notes there to take a look at. And uh, that hollow tape there. Ooh, that's an armored clean room suit. Ooh, nifty. We might have to take a look at that too. But yeah, I think this is a good place to end and we'll take a look at those story things here in the next episode and then roll from there. So hopefully you all have enjoyed this one today and you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching as always. We'll have a good one.